Okay, so this is a temporary power pole, which we're gonna be using for the building here. All it has in it is one breaker, which then feeds this cable, comes out, goes up the back, and then shoots across into that pipe we made. That pipe runs along the ceiling and down through a hole into the building, which then runs to our panel on the inside. Now, everything you do electrically, you're gonna have this ground wire, or you should have a ground wire, and it hooks up to the ground spot inside the meter, right there. And it goes through the little bitty hole that was made for it. Now, put this cover back on. Now it goes down this pole and along the ground and it hooks to this ground rod with this clamp. Okay. Now the rules from the code are your ground rod has to be within 10 feet of your panel. As you see ours is. And then most of the time it'll require a second ground rod to be 6 feet from the first one. And the demonstration I'm about to do is showing you Milwaukee hammer drill driving in this ground rod now unless you're 10 feet tall you're gonna need a ladder so you will put the adapter in the drill and then you'll drive it down from here So as you can see, we are about six or seven feet in, and the deeper you go, the harder the dirt gets, and the slower this thing actually goes. So I've changed out my battery. We got a fresh battery on it. And uh, the other battery wasn't completely dead, and it also didn't have a full charge on it when we started. They advertise that this thing will do about 20 minutes of chipping on a full charge which I think is pretty good for a cordless tool. So I'm gonna hand the camera back to my assistant and see if we can't get this thing the rest of the way in. So you can see me right here, I start to use my whole body weight as leverage. Now, as you can imagine, this is so, so much more difficult with a sledgehammer. I was getting this thing to move just a fraction of an inch every second and I've time lapsed this video just to show you going down but you see how much trouble I'm having with the power tool imagine how difficult it used to be when they did this with sledgehammers and I have done this with a sledgehammer it's no fun <laughs> Okay, right here you see me getting the hammer drill up, getting it ready. Well, inside the case, you will have a, in this one anyway, there came a tube of grease. It was called high performance grease. And the instructions are you're supposed to put it on the shaft part where the tool inserts the drill. And it's just gonna lubricate the parts inside that move so that they don't you know wear out from friction or heat or whatever it just protects the drill and protects the attachments and will make everything last longer now for a long time I didn't even use this grease and didn't even know about it honestly um, but recently I found out about it so there you go now as you can see this drill has two attachments to the left is the rotary function where it will spin and that lets you you know drill holes to the right it's just hammer so it doesn't spin it just gives you the hammer action now to demonstrate the chipping ability of this I have 
uh, started chipping this piece of cinder block here just to give you an idea you know you can't chip real massive pieces with it but you know you start from the edge and you work your way back and this thing will definitely break up the concrete uh, wherever it is whether it's a pad a sidewalk stairs you know whatever it is and you're trying to get it out of the way this tool will do it now they obviously make bigger versions you know gas powered versions and uh, attachments that can go on like excavators and so forth for real heavy duty stuff but this thing is perfect for like the do-it-yourself or the person who's going to do this stuff at home and uh, it's also perfect to having uh, cordless being battery operated so you don't have to worry about having an extension cord or a generator or anything like that so there you go that's uh, the SDS Max hammer drill chipping up a cinder block. So I wanted to mention also you guys that Milwaukee has a vacuum attachment that mounts on right here and uh, on some of these drills this isn't one of the ones that take it. The ones that take it have an attachment right here it's like a place where you can plug it in and the vacuum slides on to this machine and it goes around the drill bit so that when you are drilling it actually vacuums up the dust that is created by the concrete um and that's very beneficial because now there are silica laws in place where you have to either vacuum the dust that you create by drilling into concrete or you have to use uh, water and make it a slurry but you can't just let that dust go into the air anymore. So now the tool manufacturers are starting to make vacuums to attach to the drill, which is really convenient. Okay guys, so all in all, my review for the Milwaukee 18 volt cordless SDS Max rotary hammer drill. I give it five stars I mean it's an awesome machine I have a small air hammer at home and it can't even begin to compete with this thing so it's a little pricey um, this drill runs now I know what you're thinking you're probably thinking eight hundred dollars there's no way but I mean tools are not cheap it is what it is I feel like it's definitely worth the 800 but if you're just a do-it-yourself person, someone who's at home, you might be better off renting one of these if you just need it for a couple hours to do a real small project. I wouldn't suggest investing in one of these unless you have been doing this for a while and you get very, very serious about this kind of work. Like I said, I've been doing it 15 years and just recently got one. So take that for what it's worth. But all in all, this is a great tool. Uh, I highly recommend Milwaukee Tools to everyone. Um, there's only four or five main types of tools that I will buy. Milwaukee, Klein, Rigid, and uh, like Husky or something. something. Anything with a lifetime warranty though. Do not buy tools that do not have a lifetime warranty. And do not buy tools if they will not exchange them if they break. That is one of the most important things. You're going to pay a little bit more for a high, high quality tool but it's going to be so much more worth it because if you break it, you can just go exchange it for a brand new one for free. So, Klein, Rigid, Milwaukee, uh, Husky has a good warranty, Cobalt, you know, anything like that. Craftsman, although Craftsman's kind of gone downhill in recent years, but it's still a good tool. So, anyway, that is my review of the Milwaukee uh sds max inch and nine sixteenths uh shaft hammer drill uh you guys have a great day see you next time